time is running out for Fleetwood to extend their decade-long stay in League One, but there have been some promising signs in recent weeks. Saturday's goalless draw at promotion chasing Stevenage came despite seeing Harrison Holgate sent off, but it also came off the back of a 4-2 win against Wigan. Bristol Rovers were beaten 3-0 at home by Derby at the weekend, but before that had won back-to-back -back matches and indeed had three wins in their last four. This fixture no longer has the added spice of a former manager in the dugouts compared to recent years gone by. Both Charlie Adam and Matt Taylor appointed in December. Taylor having been nominated for the League One Manager of the Month in his first month in charge. And it's his side who come forward on the attack here and well, they're appealing for a free kick. The challenge came in. Sarpong Weirdu. It's over the bar. Corner almost found its way in beyond Jay Lynch, who has been in really good form for the Cod Army recent matches, particularly in that stalemate at the weekend. He really finds Broom, who knocks it down the line. Decent ball too from him. And it's cut back delightfully, and that was such a good chance. Promise Omokiri did everything right. No right to get in behind the defence here. It was an intelligent cutback. Flying challenge to keep out Danny Mayer. He would have backed a score in that position, but really good defending. Green puts under pressure, but manages to get it back to his keeper, who in turn looks a first time ball forward. And Fleetwood have space opening up on the attack here. And they're not shy in getting players into the box either. It's a weaving run. And the cross come shots is turned just wide. Brilliant play this time from Phoenix Patterson on the flank. They're working the wings well. But they're not able to get that finishing touch when it's delivered into the six-yard box. Mayer and Jaden Stockley queuing up. This is a torrid midweek journey in the rain for these Rovers. Supporters, a round trip of over 400 miles. Just a month ago, Fleetwood made the same trip south. Coming away with a 2-0 victory at the Mem. He's finally knocks the ball over the top, there's no flag here. Decent chance, taken first time. Anthony Evans is kept out by Lynch. Moments from the half-time whistle and the best chance of the game so far for Rovitz. Came to Evans, but another good save. Patterson. It's a left-footed delivery. Keeper came and thought about it. Headed away by Taylor. Evans, in the end, calmly get the ball away. And from one end to the other, this is a brilliant attack too. Harvey Vale and shoots across the goalkeeper, Scott Sinclair. Well, a player at this stage of his career who's graced the biggest stages of all. And in front of those die-hard travelling fans, he couldn't give them something to cheer there. And his hometown club. Work the ball out to the left-hand side. In the field to Anthony Evans. Wonderful, clever pass from him, but Lynch read the situation well and narrowed the angle. Again, it was Sinclair. Three away matches Fleetwood. They need to turn those solitary points into victories with 
Game's running out as the cross is played in. Nobody there in a red shirt, but this time it fell kindly. And Gavin Kilkenny rattles the crossbar. Nobody picked him up as he made the run into the box and picked up the loose ball, struck it well. Goalkeeper beaten. What an opportunity for Fleetwood. More red cards than anyone else in League One this season, Fleetwood. St. Paul Gates sending off at the weekend, their ninth of the campaign. They've kept 11 on the pitch tonight, though, and they need them because Sinclair comes forward looking to produce a bit of magic. It's good footwork from him. Intelligent layoff, too. But an ambitious effort drilled wide in the end. And the captain, Sam Finley. Nobody able to break the deadlock so far this evening. And could Bristol Rovers be on course to astonishingly get their first draw in 18 matches? Full clearance. It's Phoenix Patterson. He's delivered a couple of wonderful balls in this game so far. Tried to go around the outside this time, but Luca Hall stood his ground. Fleetwood supporters behind that goal find their voice as they urge their side on from the set piece. Ward's clearance. And he's back with Drew. Patterson. This time it's a right-footed cross, eludes everyone, and it's off the line. Somehow, but it almost crept in from the cross. So Henriedu tried to keep it going, but look at this ball. It took a tiny little touch there on the way through from the substitutes. Not enough, though, to go in. McKeary. Great play to twist away from his man, and but he keeps it in play. Thought that was going to go for a corner. Decent cross, header from Stockley, and a player of his calibre should have been better. Jaden Stockley scored three goals in his last three matches. Played under Matt Taylor, the Bristol Rovers boss during his days at Exeter City. He's in red hot form at the moment, takes a tumble. It was a strong challenge. Referee brandishes a yellow. What can they produce here? Towards the far post, but it's headed away. And it's back with Finley. Made to look easy by Jay Lynch in the end, but he struck it well enough on the edge of the box, Sam Finley, a player who's they didn't have it to scoring goals like this over the years. On the whole volley. <laughs> Mr Rovers haven't lost in their last four visits here. But how Fleetwood need to find a goal late on as we move into the dying moments of the game. And they've given away another free kick in a dangerous position here. And another yellow card too for... Ryan Broom this time. Ball is played in towards the penalty spot this time. Oh well, as the inquest goes on between the Fleetwood defence, Mr Rovers will ask themselves how it isn't 1-0. Because arriving in the area, totally unmarked, Luca Hall from close range. Somehow puts it off target. ball is pumped forward but their eagerness to start another attack almost saw the ball given away but they managed to keep it in to no avail well, the draw doesn't really do much for Fleetwood's survival hopes although bottom Cambridge heavily beaten tonight at Lincoln it means they are one point closer still six cut adrift though Rovers move up to 11th 